All right, welcome back to another session of Pellet Tech 101. Uh, just a really simple, basic product video that I want to show you guys today. Uh, what I have here is I have a polarity tester, uh, basically a, a receptacle tester for the outlet that's in the wall. Uh, so I'm just going to peel this out of the packaging right here. Um, for a long period of time, we included these with, uh, with every stove sale uh, that went out the door. And uh, when we were doing installations or we were doing previews for installations, uh, the polarity tester was always a really key device that we had with us. So basically a polarity tester is just simply going to plug into uh, a three-prong outlet. And on the back side right here, we have uh, some lights uh, that are going to light up once that's put in. And we just have a little guide right here uh, as far as um, uh, what those lights are showing us and uh, what the indication of that means. Uh, I will say that for, for most pellet stoves, corn stoves, multi-fuel stoves, even coal stoves, uh, it is very important that the polarity uh, is correct in that wall outlet that we have it plugged into. Uh, even for wood stoves and gas stoves, for that matter, when we have a, a blower operating, having proper polarity in that outlet, knowing our ground is there, knowing our hot and neutral wires are in the correct space, are going to ensure proper performance of the stove. So uh, if, you, uh, if you haven't yet checked the polarity uh, of the outlet that you're using for your stove or your fireplace, I would highly suggest that you grab a polarity tester. These are very inexpensive. And again, uh, uh, we have just found that, that for overall safety and overall performance, uh, especially when we're looking at pellet and corn stoves, it's vital to ensure that the polarity is correct with the unit. Uh, in addition to the polarity tester, uh, I always recommend a surge protector in place. Um, so in the event of uh, an unexpected uh, you know, lightning strike or power surge into the house, uh, having a surge protector in place of the right amount of joules is basically going to be a barrier point or a protector uh, between that and between the stove's control board. Uh, oftentimes we end up leaving the stove plugged in even in times when we're not using it. But as long as we have that surge protector in place, we're going to ensure that, that nothing goes through that line to, to damage or to uh, affect the control board. So uh, I'll put a link in the video right here to the polarity tester uh, as well as the surge protector uh, that we offer. Uh, and just something to take a look at. But if you have not properly tested your wall outlet that your stove is being plugged into yet, uh, and maybe you've ran across some different issues that you're having with voltage issues or performance issues with the stove, I would highly recommend to grab a polarity tester, check that outlet. If it does need um, uh, some rearranging or repair, um, fairly easy to do. Uh, obviously, you can, um, you can contact a, a professional electrician to be able to handle that for you, or depending on your background and experience, uh, it may be something that you're able to handle yourself. But uh, polarity tool, very key tool as we're looking at uh, proper performance and safety of stoves that are out there when they're plugged into the wall. And then again, surge protector in place to ensure that our control board is protected from any kind of a, a surge or lightning strike, things like that that may come in. So um, that's all for today's video. Thanks again for joining us for another session of Pellet Tech 101. Questions, comments, concerns, we're always here to help. Just leave us a message in the video below. Thanks again so much.